I'm from Chicago, Illinois, South Side, and uh, born in the Bronx uh, of 13 siblings, and uh, came to Chicago after the death of my parents in, in New York. And my family was divided uh, between the uh, siblings, and so the younger ones came to Chicago, the others remained in New York. Uh, and so uh, that's what brought us to Chicago, and um, in terms of the community, uh, my family is very, very uh, multicolored. That is, my mother was Puerto Rican, and my father was African American, but nobody could tell because he had blonde hair and blue eyes. And so my family and I uh, always struggled between the two cities of New York, in which my uh, older siblings spoke Spanish, and the younger ones who grew up in Chicago we only spoke English. Um, religion was the was was totally a, a function of my family's life. My uh, grandmother raised me, uh, and she was a Baptist woman. My aunt also raised me, and she was Pentecostal. So I grew up between two two uh, traditions: one Baptist in the, in the Sunday morning between uh, nine and and twelve, and uh, Assemblies of God between one and six. And so religion was a simply part of our life. I grew up uh, very conscious about uh, religious experience, about life, and about faith. I was a, a sick child, and one of my earliest religious moments in my formation was when my aunt took me uh, to a faith healing service. In that faith healing service, I was just a little one, but I heard some of the most fantastic music that one could ever hear. I heard a sound, of, uh, I knew now that it was an organ. But to me, it just sounded like a heavily uh, an instrument. And then this woman in white appeared. And I thought it was an angel. And she came to the stage, and my aunt lifted me up, and she touched me on my forehead. And she said, this child would be fine. And then my aunt took me back. I knew, learned years later that the woman who touched me was Captain Coleman. Captain Coleman is uh, the mentor of Benny Hinn. Uh, so we talked about the Oral Roberts community of uh, Pentecostal, Neo-Pentecostal healing. And so uh, faith healing, these sort of things, that the experience of religion became paramount to me from that earliest experience of uh, being, being uh, touched and healed uh, by uh, Catherine Kuhlman and the faith healing ministry. So.